Previously on Dance Moms. We don't have that, but I have the next best thing. She parades Brynn in here. It's a slap in the face to Kendall. I am not gonna sit here and listen to you. That's my kid. The minis are gonna come in today. I worry bringing these mini kids is way too much for her to handle. Abby Lee Miller in serious legal drama is charged with fraud. I'm finished. First, we have Straight out of Pittsburgh. Coming up on Dance Moms. Don't trust anybody. She needs to shut her mouth! Brent, you're doing a jazz solo, and Maddie, you are also doing a solo this weekend. Brent's gonna win, and she's gonna shut all these moms up. Abby's not here today. I have a huge legal issue going on. It's the mini's first time competing, and we wanted Abby to be here. Second place. This is Maddie's first solo of the year, and where the is Abby? Living on the dance floor. Hi, it's Abby Lee Miller. Not good, not good. I'm in a bit of a crisis, and I probably shouldn't have called you, but there's no one else to call. And I'm sitting in the back office of my studio, which is my private, personal space, okay? I've had it. Five years of my life, I have made these kids stars. If you can help me, help me, Yes, you can help me. Abby don't know what time class starts. Somehow we managed to get our kids up at 7 a.m., dressed, ready to go, and yet we're sorry. That's crazy. Abby had a huge meltdown last week because of what's happening in her personal life. She's under a federal investigation for hiding money. She has so much going on that we can't even relate to it. I honestly wonder if she'll even be at Pyramid today. Do we think Abby's coming back? Guys, it's Maddie! Yay. Yay. Maddie! Maddie. <laughs> Thank God Maddie is back. We have our complete ALDC team now. Well, except for Abby. Ashley has been on her high horse with Bryn. Abby, I was just curious as to why Kendall has a solo and not Bryn. I know she really wants another one. Maybe with Maddie back, Ashley will finally shut her mouth. So Maddie, how is it, you know, filming the movie? Is it different? And it's like the coolest thing ever. I know this sounds weird, but you feel like a movie star. Like, you are, you're... no, you have a right to say that. I did have a lot of fun filming the movie, but I do miss my friends, and I was so excited to be back dancing with them. So guys, why don't you go? Like, what should they do? Get out of here. Are those happy yells? We all heard Abby screaming, so. We know Abby's here. Abby has a bed in the back of her studio. She lives there. I think Abby has lost her mind. So does anybody want to go in and get Abby? Hey, I don't, hi. not. Why don't we it. send the kids in? No, no way. Oh, here's her minis, here's maybe. Right here. <gasps> maybe we can send the mini moms in. <laughs> hi, girls. OK, let them get situated, and then we'll say, oh, go on in and grab Abby. Is Abby here? She's in her office, if you want to let her know that you guys are here or anything. Just go on in. You're horrible, Jess. Hello, Miss Abby. Good morning. I am hysterical. I have done everything. There's nothing more I can do. What's going on? I don't know. I'm right now, I don't have a bra on. I, my hair is in rollers. I'm in my slippers. And I have a huge legal issue going on. I can give you lists of the bull crap that I'm dealing with. I'm finished. So what is she upset about? I don't know what she's upset about, but the fact that she doesn't have a bra on and she can't finish her hair, that's what's getting me, like, give her some space so she can at least get herself together just for a second. She's had all day to get herself together. I know Abby has some personal financial issues outside of the studio, but enough is enough. Abby just needs to stop, quit, tarnishing your name and your brand, especially in front of your new team. We need to go back and drag her out here. Who's in this room? We are. Melissa and Jill. OK, you Bye. guys don't understand how serious this is. Get out of here. No, I know. No, you don't. Or you I wouldn't understand. have come in here with the camera. You would have come in by yourself and asked me. 
I'm really sad because Abby won't come out. And, you know, Maddie just booked a really great photo shoot for this week. And I want the announcement to be in front of Abby. It's so exciting. And Abby needs to be a part of it. In balance, two, three, four. You can do it. We've been here two hours and still no Abby. Plus Gia, who's working with the girls, but that's two hours wasted, no pyramid, no assignments. I don't care about the pyramid, honestly. Well, you don't because you've been here forever. Her not being here affects you guys way less than people that are new, like me and the mini team. I gave up a lot to be here. Yeah. Oh my God, she gave up a lot. I mean, the only person that's won the overall since we got here was Bryn. Oh my God, she never shuts up. So that's one reason why they are not. I just think what's happening is the people that thought they were going to slide into Maddie's spot are the most unwelcoming of us being here. Maddie helped create this team. I, I mean, no one can take her place. Well, I know that you have a sore spot about Maddie being replaced because this was supposed to be Kendall's year and it's not shaping up to be that way. Be careful, Ashley. Watch what you say. At competition, Kendall told Bryn she couldn't be in any of the pictures because she wasn't on their team. Nia actually said, Kendall, you shouldn't say that. And she goes, oh, I was just kidding. How do you think okay. my kid felt she coming home? She was just kidding. How do you so think she said that is so passive kidding. aggressive, and you condone it. Your daughter's smart ass, just like you. I told you I've had enough of her mouth talking poorly about a child. You feel good about yourself, Ashley? I don't know how saying fact is talking poorly about a child. She needs to shut her <laughs> mouth. Who does she think Ashley. she is? I'm going to punch her in the face, bitch. Hi. Hi. I don't know who you are. Oh, this is a wonderful man. Sergio, Sergio. nice to meet you. We love Sergio. I'm Jill. James. James, James. nice to I meet you. Jill. So what are you guys? No, you I didn't meet him. I love him. So we walk outside, and I look over, and I'm like, Sergio, what are you doing here? You are two hours early. And here we come out, and Jill's screaming, and I can't let him see us so upset about another mom. Well, yeah. how do you know him? I work for 17 I book celebrities. When Maddie was with me in New York, we had this idea about doing a story around her for 17, a fashion story. So we decided we should come out and see what other dancers we should shoot with her. Oh my gosh, that's really special. Abby said no other opportunities this year outside of dance. But this is a Maddie project. I'm sure Abby's gonna let this one slide. I mean, it's Seventeen Magazine. Abby would be crazy to say no. I need to get my act together. I'll be damned if Bryn were to get this opportunity over Kendall. Come on, we're gonna take you in to see the kids. Who are they? Hi. 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 Hey, guys. I gotta find this out. This is the most interesting thing. So I am the music and entertainment editor at Seventeen Magazine. And this is our fashion editor, James. I've been dying to do a fashion story with Maddie. So I created a concept for a fashion story for our February issue based around you. I have to be honest, it's a shoot for three girls. We want to see which one of you would compliment her the best. James and Sergio are here to pick two girls to join Maddie in this eight page fashion spread. I think it'd be nice to see them together. I kind of want to see so, how to so match it. Exactly. This is a chance of a lifetime. Almost every teenage girl's dream to be in Seventeen Magazine, and this is a pretty awesome opportunity. I guess your guys are the last two. Yes. My daughter's the blonde one, Bryn. She's brand new, so you may not recognize her, but she does a lot of modeling stuff. She loves it. Great. You guys are all such great dancers. You're so talented. You guys can continue dancing. We need to deliberate. Of course, what lures Abby out of her dark cave is Sergio and James. There is no way Abby's going to pass any opportunity to offer her two cents about who should be selected for the fashion shoot. Camera. She was number one on that tint, her video. The one who I really waited really for is Mia. I think Kalani is absolutely stunning. She looks like she should be on the cover of something. Come here, yeah. come on. Come on, guys. So, guys, first of all, I'm so happy Abby gave us a little insight to all of you. I think the first one we can say that we are definitely putting in our shoot is uh, Nia. 
everyone in our office calls you mini Beyonce. We feel like there's such a big future for you. We would love for you to be a part of this tomorrow. So, Kalani, you're absolutely beautiful. I just don't know if this is the right shoot for you. Mackenzie and Jojo, we love you. We just don't feel like this is the right opportunity for you because you're so young. And the last two are Bryn and Kendall. Kendall, I think you're amazing. Thank you. It's Maddie's best friend. Bryn, I think your look is great, and I think also the way that you moved was incredible. We are going with This Seventeen magazine shoot could open up so many doors, and to me, it's a no-brainer. Bryn looks very young for a teen magazine. I think Kendall's your pick. We are going with Kendall. Yay! That's so exciting! I'm sorry, I'm so exciting! That's good, there'll be other times. We can't wait to see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited. The Seventeen magazine shoot is an incredible opportunity for Maddie, Nia, and Kendall. Well, enough with the celebrating. I don't have time for this. The girls don't have time for this. We have a competition to get ready for. All right, pay attention. Let's go. Come on, too much talking. Can Let's... we do the pyramid? Would you like to yes. pull, pull, pull? Can I? I don't let just anybody in here for pyramid. But James and Sergio have been so kind. I think I'm going to make an exception. So let's get to what's happening. Our competition this week is in Santa Monica, California. The group routine, the name is The Elite. This week, the mini team will be competing. The name of your group routine is The Spotlight is on Me. The Spotlight is on them. It's their first competition with the ALDC. Are the minis my future? Can I build a team with these kids? I want to see who shines and who doesn't. Now, Maddie, you are doing a solo this weekend. And the name of your routine is Bond Girl. Uh... Brent, you're doing a jazz solo. And the name of your routine is She's Magic. This is just what I've been waiting for. It's Maddie's first week back, and Bryn gets to go up against her. Maddie has a name, but Bryn has a technique. And last time, I know that Maddie was intimidated by Bryn. I'm nervous because <laughs> she has amazing technique. How to keep her on her toes, right? Bryn's going to win, and she's going to shut all these moms up about being Maddie's replacement. OK, we did not get anything done yesterday. So we have a lot to do today, but it's calm here. There's no minis yet. I want Bryn to realize that she can go up against Maddie. Maddie is being pulled in so many directions right now, and that has really put a wrench in her training. If Bryn really wants to be Maddie's replacement, right now is the time. So does it feel better to walk like this or, or lefty? It does feel better? This way? OK, you look great. That looks great. Look, Abby's totally into this solo, though. I'm really happy to see that Abby's in a good mood today, because with all these issues in her personal life, her attitude seems to change from day to day. Illusion, step, inside skating turn. Go. One and two. Yeah! <laughs> Maddie who? I'm actually kind of glad that it's just you and me, because I don't want to be at odds with you. I need to have at least some people here. Otherwise, it is going to be hard to stay. It's hard to be new. Like, I, I get it. Like, no one was my friend when I first came here. But I had to, like, let them get to know me and know that I was a like, team player. And I don't feel like you're doing that. I just think I was already in defense mode. And then it snowballed with Jill. And Jill, honestly, has issues that are way beyond Brain and I. I don't know if it's menopause. I do think it, like, it takes two to fight, but I think sometimes you just have to know when to stop. It's just insane to me that the situation I brought up yesterday 
about a child being mean to my child would elicit such a response when she literally called my kid stupid to her face. Why can't Brian have a brain and sit in the back? Do not call my child stupid. If you know that Jill's mad, why make it worse? It's better just sometimes to get along. Ashley is so focused on Bryn being a star, but she needs to learn to take a backseat. Things are gonna only get worse for her if she doesn't take my advice. We're in the big leagues You guys now. are in the big leagues now. Kendall, look at those clothes. Oh, hi guys, how are you? We're so excited you guys are here. Thank you. We are not as excited as these kids are. We'll have you guys start in hair and makeup. OK, so I'll come in and introduce you. Walking into the 17 photo shoot from the moment we set foot, you can just tell this is a legitimate photo shoot with producers and editors and stylists and hair and makeup people. This is as big as it gets. But the greatest part is spending the day away from Abby in her dance studio. Funny to me seeing the different personalities of you guys. Uh huh. I'm kind of completely opposite. Yeah, I'm more laid back. I'm chill. I'm cooler than her. And I'm just. <laughs> and she's not as crazy as Jill. I think she wants it more than her daughter. Jill's like, oh, honey. Oh, I need one of those. It's really can you do me next? <laughs> Absolutely. Then you can say, um, I did Victoria Beckham, Kendall K, and Jill. And Jill. <laughs> okay, you, you can leave. Again. Hi, guys. Do you guys want to come in and warm up in here? Yeah. OK. So wait, Abby, Abby, is this the mini team now, or is this no. still the temporary no, team? I, I would like seven. You know, when you have five kids on stage, you can see every mistake everybody makes. To form a mini elite competition team, I want dancers that are dedicated like Maddie. Kids that want to eat, sleep, and breathe dance. The legacy has to continue. And it's those little minis between the ages of six and, let's say, nine or 10 that are going to carry on my name. She'll probably bring in like seven new kids and make uh -huh. you guys all fight for it. Uh -huh. One day at a time. Like, and, and I just gotta remember what I'm here for. I'm here for my daughter, period. Jump apart and big and big. Yes. You really wanna know what the best advice is? Don't trust anybody. I'm the only sane one here. So seriously, they're all crazy. This is what? why you don't fit in on the team. But it's true. Because you don't throw your team under the bus. Do you realize what team you're on right now? Until I feel part Look of the team. Look how they're sticking it's together. You're one of the ones that should have made you feel welcome and you didn't. Please, please. Even like today when the mini moms came, she was like throwing everyone under the bus. And I'm like, whose freaking team are you on? Let her be on the mini team. Jill, I think Ashley hasn't figured out why you're so like upset about Brit. Why? Because Ashley thinks you're going through menopause. I, I think her boob job was too tight and it's squishing her brain. Okay, girls, what's the name of your routine? The Spotlight's on me. Let's go. Down, tummy, head, push back. One, two, three, four, all the way around. Woo! She's working with them a lot today. A lot. That's good. Yeah, I'm really glad she's working with them so much. I am so excited the girls get to get a number together and show Abby that these little minis are gonna help Abby's brand. It's a jazz number, it's kind of funky. They each get a turn to do a little showcase piece of themselves, and it shows each girl's strengths, and I think it's gonna turn out really well. If you don't get your arms up after that side aerial, go home. I think the mini group dance is a hot mess. Carrie's little girl, Peyton, isn't really picking this up. She doesn't get off the floor quick enough and get into the turn quick enough. 
It's a small team, that's the one thing I worry about, like, especially with the spacing and the formation. Especially because if Peyton has a hard time keeping up, which she does. Right. She's six and the rest are nine, 10, and Abby won't care about that. If she's a half account behind, that's what she'll care about. They're all equally a mess. She's not keeping In up. your opinion. No, I just call it like it is. Your kid doesn't know the choreography. Everyone else is swiping down and touching the floor, and your kid is like, oh, shoot, that's there? I mean, sorry. All right, this is the first time we're all dancing together this year, right? Yay! The first time in forever. I don't know what's going on out there or anywhere right now, but Abby's not here today. It's Friday and our dance isn't done, so that scares me a little. So we really need to get this together today, okay? Maddie, you, you're, you're gonna be dancing on this part. Yesterday's photo shoot at Seventeen Magazine was so incredible, was so much fun. And I just wish for once the fun could go on and on because we're a day away from competition. Abby isn't even here yet, and this is our first and only day for rehearsal. This is a lot of pressure to put on the girls, even if they are considered the elite. So where's Abby? We received an email that she's resigning. What? It's not looking good, you guys. She's had it. We saw her last night. She was really happy last night. Well, that could be disturbing, too, because usually when she's in a really good mood, something happens right afterwards. That's a hard thing for her to sustain being happy, and then it's a calm before the storm. Abby has been all over the place. Abby walked out of the competition last week. The other day, she refused to come out of her cave, and today, she decides she's quitting. Ever since the mini showed up, it seems like the crazy behavior is becoming a pattern. You just never know what you're gonna get with her. Like, how many times has she said she's walked away and she's done, and she talks about our being committed? Right, and the not being walk for Right, us. exactly. I know she's got issues going on, but sit us down, talk to us, tell us what your plan is, what you need from us to do, Absolutely. and we'll do it. But there's none of that. It's always like, where do we stand? What do we do today? The competition is tomorrow, and Abby has quit on this team again. Who knows how she'll feel tomorrow, but all we can do is move on with or without her. This is your first solo back. It's a jazz routine, which is what you don't normally do, but can do, have done, and have won with it. So show them that you're back. You can come back and still be on top. Bond girls are these women that are perfect, beautiful, and they just steal the stage. And that's Maddie all over. This is Maddie's first solo of the year, and she has to prove to Abby with this solo that she's still her go-to girl. But where the f is Abby? There you go, nice. Good for now. I'm sure Abby's gonna wanna see it if she comes. Okay, okay. first solo back, work on it. Okay, thank you. Go. Maddie is going up against Bryn this week, and Ashley just loves to say that Bryn is Maddie's replacement. I really need my daughter to win and prove to Ashley that Maddie is not replaceable. It's competition day and Abby isn't here. I am beyond frustrated with her. We have two groups and two soloists to get ready. Abby should be here, especially because it's Maddie up against Bryn. I would think if she really believes Bryn can replace Maddie, she would want to witness it in person. So where is Abby? Is she gonna come today? Is she gonna show up? She's not coming. I guess we don't understand. Abby has been doing this for years. And the thing is, we have no control over Abby Lee Miller resigning, coming to work. We've tried to be empathetic, supportive. You name it, we've tried it. It doesn't work with her because she just goes rogue. The other moms don't seem to care that Abby's not here, but for us, it's a big deal because it's the mini's first time getting on that stage and competing, and we wanted Abby to be here. I'm just really glad that Bryn got a lot of time with Abby. When she did her solo, she was really excited about it. I mean, she came out of the room and was like, this child is a dream to work with. 
Do you think Bryn can beat Maddie this week? There is no question. Hopefully, if there is a dance god, Ashley is gonna get knocked down a few levels. Bryn is amazing, but she's not better than anyone else. And she certainly is not on the level that Maddie is on. Please welcome to the stage, Maddie with Bond Girl. Next up, please welcome to the stage, Maddie with Bond Girl. Maddie has been so busy filming her movie. This is Maddie's first solo of the year, and it's very important to win first place. Bryn's never going to replace Maddie. No one will replace Maddie. Seeing Maddie on the stage again, she was just fabulous. These are going to be fewer and far between, I think, because she's going to continue to get opportunities and jobs outside of this competition team. It just kind of makes me sad, because I love seeing her on that stage. I knew you were really nervous, because it's your first little back, but it was perfect. Those are so good. You're a great dancer. You're awesome. And we're having a good time, right? We're going into entry number two, A. Please welcome Bryn to the stage. Bryn has a technique. She's got beautiful lines. She's got beautiful emotion. This is our chance to show what Bryn can do. Thank you. You feel like you nailed everything? Yeah, pretty much. Maddie and Bryn's solos are fabulous, each in their own perspective, right? Bryn's solo was strong, competitive dance number, whereas what Maddie did is something you would see like on a Broadway stage. So it just depends on what the judges are looking for. I thought the solos were amazing. Like legs for days, amazing turns. Both of them were so amazing in different ways. Maddie's main thing was turns, and she turned, and she turned, and she turned. Bryn had, like, six One different turns. Maddie had legs and oh, she had leaps. Jumps. If we're talking tricks and difficulty, Bryn's was harder. Let's ask Gia what she thought who had the harder solo. Maddie could have done Bryn's solo. I don't think Bryn could have done Maddie's solo. Can Maddie even do a scorpion on Releve? No, because we don't do that. So she can't even do some of the tricks in there. First of all, no judge is impressed by a full black split. No judge. And I will tell you, your daughter, her transition out of her full black split was terrible. So that probably mark off for that. I just 
think it's hilarious that JoJo is one of the worst dancers on the team oh and you're critiquing my, my kid. Get I'm done. Out. I'm not going to play with her. You know what? Don't talk to her. She just said her transition out of her back split was Ashley, horrible. you better stop it. You better stop it. Stop what? You, you better talking stop about talking about JoJo or you're going to be in a well, lot of trouble. Well, then don't talk about Rin. Don't say your name out of your mouth. You're going to be in a mouth. lot of trouble. You do? I didn't do anything. You did something. They are all entitled to talk about you, but I'm not allowed to say anything because everybody gets pissed off. Well, then don't say anything. Want me to just let them walk all over you and not say anything? Well, then we, I can show them by dancing. I don't really like when my mom butts heads with the moms because I don't want that to affect the way that my relationship is with the girls because I love the girls. They're like my best friends now. OK, little ones, come here. Everybody go to a big girl. I just gave it to you. I have you and you. I am so impressed with our girls right now. Abby's quit on this team, but our girls will not let the ALDC fail. You feel ready? You feel prepared? They are taking the minis under their wings to make sure that they feel confident and ready to perform. These girls are absolutely committed to each other and to the team. I wish I could say the same for Abby. Regardless of anything else that's going on, Abby here, Abby not here, you need to do this for yourselves. Abby's not here today, but she'll see every move that you make. Okay? Are you guys ready? I know my daughter, and she's practiced her butt off, and she knows this routine. I cannot wait for the moms to see that Peyton is right on the music because it's like, you know what? When it's time to perform, my daughter will perform. Are you excited? Yeah. Just go out there and watch Ari for the, your counts, OK? And remember, don't look down, OK? Look at the judges, because you have really pretty things. Peyton is like my mini-me, because she was my age when I was little when I started the competition team. You know, it's a lot of stress on a six-year-old when they have to compete every single week and learn in three days, but she'll get used to it. <laughs> good luck. You're going to do so good. Please welcome to the stage entry number 31A. The spotlight is on me. and they did great. I am impressed that Peyton was actually able to keep up. It's just too bad that Abby missed their first performance. Oh, so that was the so best time ever. This is Maddie's first group dance of the season. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am so glad that Maddie is in the spotlight. I can't wait to prove to Ashley that when Maddie's here, Bryn is just a third wheel. Next up, entry number 32, the Elite. Next up, entry number 32, the Elite.
great to be back with my team because even though I love filming movies, it's so great to just be back with the girls. Are you ready? Here we go. The overall solo category. I know without a doubt that Bryn is more talented than all the girls here, and this is their chance to prove it and show everybody we're here to be Maddie's replacement. In fourth place. Entry number 2A, she's magic. Abby Lee Dance Company. Come on down, you are magic. I have no idea why Ashley has to brag about Brynn all the time, because she'll never be anything like my daughter. Third place. Entry number 11, All I Want. Second place. Entry number 3A, Bond Girl, the Abby Lee Dance Company. What? And in first place, Wade, the wow. company. Well, Melissa, it looks like Maddie is not as unbeatable as you think. In the energy, petite, small group, division, second place. Entry number 31A in the spotlight. Oh, my stomach just sank. I'm not sure second place is good enough for Abby. And finally, the overall small group category, second place. Entry number 31, light. And in first place, entry number 32, the elite, Abby Lee Dance Company. All right. All right, you did it. These girls have proven, Abby, you can resign. We're fine. They can do 17 magazine shoot in the middle of the week, and we can still pull out a win. These girls can do anything. Good job, little ones. Were you happy? Oh, they're not happy? What's no. wrong? You nailed it on stage. Remember how I kept saying you were late, you were late, you were late? You weren't on stage. Sit up nice and tall. There we go. That's better. Nothing to be sad about. I really hope that Abby would come to the competition to see how good I am. All right, OK, get changed. Let's do a group pick. What is that? Is that oh, who is that? Oh my God! Oh, oh. Sergio left a little surprise for us in the green room, a little sneak peek of Seventeen Magazine. Our girls look so beautiful, and hopefully this will be the first of many more to come. For next week, we are doing a line with everyone. So minis are back next week. So since we're already planning on doing a line and a number, does that mean Abby will be here, or we're still doing a I just know that that what? was her plan, so I just wanted to give you guys as much info as I had, so you guys weren't completely in the dark because she wasn't here. Oh, great. We're doing a dance with the minis. Hopefully, this means Abby will show up to work next week. I just want to ask you a question in front of Bryn's mom. She said that her daughter's solo was more difficult than Maddie's. I think it was. These moms better get off their high horse and start making their kids work harder, because Bryn isn't going anywhere. She's going to keep working till she's the best dancer on the team. 
When I think the one difference between me and you guys is that we actually want it. Bryn actually cares if she wins, and she works hard to win. But you didn't win. You didn't win. Good job. You didn't win. You yeah, didn't win. Woo! JoJo didn't even win her age group last week. One thing if I you can't. talk about I your own do. child, but do don't anymore. talk about someone else's. I'm sick of it. Here we go. Bryn didn't beat Maddie today. Not even the next in line. I am so out of this place. Bryn didn't beat Maddie. She lost. Bryn lost to Maddie. Bryn lost. Oh my God, I hate the woman. Next on Dance Bombs. I am going to teach you a large group number. Ha! It's messy. We know it's messy. After Abby designed last week, I think it's very clear Abby set us up for failure. I'm freaking out about this dance. They're incredibly vulnerable. Don't let them make you cry. Everyone's hitting a wall. I threatened to call the cops on Tiffany last night. <laughs> and they have no leader. We really need to work on being a team as well. What do we have to lose? <laughs> My sanity. <laughs>